Hello everyone. So if we had to start with x squared multiplied by x3, now what happens is that this becomes x5. Because the way it works in maths is when these two numbers are the same, you do not change that. All you do is you add the exponents. Does that make sense? Well then, if you understood that, what does this become? If you just wrote a 4, then I've just caught you out. Because what we just said was that when these two are the same, then they stay an x. So if this is a 2 and this is a 2, it must stay a 2, and then you just add the exponent. But Kevin, 2 times 2 is 4. Come on, why are you joking around with us like this? Yes, 2 times 2 is 4. But this isn't 2 times 2. This is 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3. It's not 2 times 2. So you've got to be careful. So when there are exponents involved, be careful. So here we have x, x, x. They're all the same. And we're multiplying. That's important. We are multiplying. In the previous lessons, we were adding. So if you had to add these together, these would not be able to add together because they're different. Remember, in the previous lessons, we saw that x3 plus x3 plus 2x plus 3x, you can only add the like terms. So that would be 1 plus 1, which is 2, but then it would stay x3. And then 2x plus 3x just became 5x, not 5x squared. So there we were adding and subtracting. Now we are multiplying. You need to make sure over the next couple of lessons that you can always see the difference between the different methods. Because this is where you can get lost. So when we are multiplying and these numbers are all the same, then we leave it as an x and then you add the exponents and so that becomes x9. So I'm going to spend the next few minutes just giving you a mixture of questions from the previous lesson or similar types of questions and then the new stuff so that you can make sure that you can see the difference. So in the first one we are adding, okay? So that means that you can only add them together if they are the same. And so 3 plus 2 is 5, but then it stays x squared y. Then here we have an x and x, so those are the same, and 8 plus 4 is 12, so it becomes plus 12x. It does not become x squared. Going on to the next one, we are now multiplying. So this requires a totally different mindset. So now when these are the same, that becomes x, and then you add the exponents. Quite weird, eh? But as we practice this, it will become better. And so that's x9. So what would this be now? Because maybe I've scared you away from wanting to call that an 8. <laughs> but in this case, it is going to be an 8. Kevin, what is going on? Life doesn't even make sense anymore. <laughs> Let me show you guys. So when we say 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 2, do these 2s have exponents on them? Yes, they do. So can we make it a 4? No, we can't. We have to simply add those exponents like that. So have a look at this 2 and this 4. Do they have exponents? No, they don't. It's the x's that have exponents. So the 2 and the 4 are free to be the way that they normally would want to be, and that's to multiply. So they become 8. Then we move on to the x's. Now they have exponents and so we have to keep it as an x and then you add the exponents and so it becomes 8x5. See the difference? So if I say 2 to the 3 times 2 to the 4, do they have exponents on them? Yes, so you cannot say it's a 4. You have to say that it's a 2 and then you add those exponents together which is 7. But if I do something like this, now the 2 and the 3 do not have exponents on them, and so they are free to do what they want, and that becomes 6, because 2 times 3 is 6. We've known that our whole lives. And then here we've got x, which has an exponent, and x, which has an exponent. So now you keep it as an x, and you add the exponents. Why don't you pause the video and try these ones? So for the first one, 2 times 4, do the 2 and the 4 have exponents on them? No, they don't, so we can multiply them, no problem. Then the x's have exponents, and so we have to add. Here, this 3 and this 4 do not have exponents, and so we can multiply them. The x becomes 2 plus 3 
which is 5. The y, we have exponents, and so we add the exponents, and so it becomes y, 12. Here, does the two, do the 2's have exponents? Yes, so you cannot turn that in. You can't say 2 times 2 times 2. What you can do is add these, and that becomes 11. Does this 2 and does this 4 have an exponent? No, it doesn't, so you can multiply them. A little bit nervous about the negative? Just type it on the calculator. It's negative 8, because a negative times by a positive is a negative. Then we look at the x's. Well, that's 3, and that's 2, so that's x5. This y over here, please remember that it does have a 1 if there's nothing written there. And so that we leave it as a y, and we add the exponents, and we get 3. And here's the last 4, so maybe you want to try these yourself. So this 3 and this 2, do they have any exponents on them? No, they don't, so it's just 6. The x's have exponents, and so we add, so that becomes 2 plus 4, which is 6. And then the y's become 4 plus 8, which is 12. Kevin, this is really weird. So when we're multiplying, then the exponents are actually going to add. Correct. That's how it works, guys. This minus 2 and this 4 have no exponents, and so we are free to multiply them. Remember that this has a 1, so 3 plus 1 is 4. 5 plus 1 is 6. Now, do these 2s have exponents? Yes, so do not multiply them together. Simply add the exponents together, which would be 9. Then the 3, the 2, and the 4 do not have exponents, and so you can multiply them. So that's going to be 3 times 2, which is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. That's going to make two negatives, which would be a positive. If you in doubt, use your calculator. Remember, they're not going to take your calculator away in the test. Teachers don't mind if you use your calculator. You just have to show the steps. Then you've got x, and then it's 4 plus 3, which is 7, plus 5, which is 12. And so there we have it, guys. That is the addition rule of exponents. So when you multiply, then you add exponents.